it's obviously a, a hard decision to make, uh, and it's, it's bittersweet. After 10 years as the music director of the Brit Festival Orchestra, Teddy Abrams is resigning his position after the season. He says Brit is in very good hands after the way it handled the pandemic and multiple fires, but he says it's important that the organization sees some new leadership as well. The, the quality of the musicians and, and the attitude, the positivity that uh, the musicians bring to Jacksonville every single summer is so inspiring. And I take that back with me the entire rest of the year. So Brit has always been a highlight. Abrams says one of his favorite moments was a concert the orchestra performed at Crater Lake in 2016. The orchestra was joined by the Klamath Tribe and a full chorus and was part of a collaboration with the National Park Service. He says the performance helped connect him with famed cellist Yo-Yo Ma, who he performed with just last month in Kentucky. The really special part of that is that it's connected to Brit because when we went up to Crater Lake back in 2016, that was something that Yo-Yo Ma noticed, and he watched the documentary about that experience. Abrams' impact on Brit over the last 10 years extends far beyond just directing the orchestra. He's helped with fundraising, marketing, programming, and all sorts of behind-the-scenes work. Abby McKee, who took on the role of CEO at Brit just last year, says Abrams was one of the reasons she applied in the first place. It's bittersweet because we're so excited to see what he does next, but we're going to miss him terribly. And, and I know the community here has just fallen in love with him over the last 10 years.